today on Rappler. Pope Francis says there were so many tears this Christmas. The Communist Party of the Philippines resumes talks with the government. And Jordan vows to save its pilot held captive by ISIS. Hello, I'm Maria Ressa. This is Rappler's Wrap for the Day, a list of the most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. Pope Francis says there were so many tears this Christmas. This is Francis' second message to the city and to the world, which comes at the close of a year plagued by war and violent religious fundamentalism. Visibly moved, Francis departed from his prepared message, calling for justice for, in his words, the children massacred by bombardments, including where the Son of God was born. Their powerless silence cries under the sword. The Pope calls for an end to the violence and hostage takings from the Middle East to Nigeria, the conflicts in Ukraine and Libya, and mourns for the thousands of victims of the Ebola epidemic in West Africa. Jordan vows to save a pilot captured by ISIS or the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria jihadists. This comes after the U.S. military refuted ISIS's claims of shooting down the pilot's warplane. Jordanian pilot Maaz al Qasasba was captured by ISIS Wednesday after his jet crashed on a mission over northern Syria. ISIS posted pictures online showing its fighters with the pilot. Raunchy comedy film The Interview draws crowds in U.S. movie theaters Thursday. Cinema owners say tickets sold out in less than an hour. Before its release, the film about an assassination plot on North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un was riddled with controversy. Sony Pictures canceled the film's initial run after a cyber attack on its corporate network and moviegoers were threatened with attacks similar to 9-11. U.S. security insiders blame the cyber attack on North Korea. Saudi Arabia braces for a budget deficit this 2015, reeling from its decision not to increase oil prices. Saudi officials vowed not to boost production, regardless of the impact on the country's coffers. This caused a drop of nearly 50% in global oil prices since June. The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, or OPEC, which Saudi Arabia is part of, maintains a production ceiling of 30 million barrels per day. Analysts say the move aims to stifle competition from new market players like North American shale oil producers. In the Philippines, government and communist guerrillas are set to return to the negotiating table early 2015, two years after the last talks collapsed. Philippine Chief Peace Negotiator Teresita Dela says the government will not announce anything unless something concrete comes out of the talks. The Communist Party of the Philippines, which turns 46 Friday, leads Asia's longest-running insurgency. Military estimates say it's weakened from its 25,000 armed regulars in the 80s down to about 4,000 today. For the full stories, click on the links on your screen. And for those of you watching on mobile, the links can be found on the titles on the article. You can also click on the tabs below to go to a story in the video. Every story on Rappler has a mood meter, which gives you eight emotions to choose from. If you look at the mood navigator in the middle of the front page, uh, you can see that the story that's gotten the most number of votes in the last 24 hours is this piece by our columnist Shakira Sison, bittersweet piece uh, on our overseas Filipino workers. When OFWs come home, you have a whopping 74% inspired, bringing out the mood of the day. Today, most people are inspired. That is the wrap for the day, Friday, December 26, 2014. Day after Christmas, visit raptor.com for the latest news here and around the world. Check out our other shows, Tech Wrap and Talk Thursday. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Maria Ressa. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today.